The first step in making a pattern is to first to make your design. So in this case, I'm going to make a pattern for my husband and his name is Glenn. And then I'm going to make it quite a lot bigger. Now I'm using Google Draw. It's a nice program, it's free, and it's very easy to use. Now I could use this font, which is Arial. I'm gonna go ahead and center it. Um, I think it's kind of a little bit boring. One of my favorite fonts, go-to fonts, is something called Lobster. I just like how fancy it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size by a bit. Oops, and you're just going to fiddle with this a little bit. Make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and center. When I know it's perfectly centered when the two red lines combine right in the middle. And then I'm going to change. Now the background needs to always be white when you're working with a book folding patterns. And I'm going to go ahead and name it. And I'm going to download it as a PNG. Now I'm gonna go into my pattern maker. I happen to use something called Bookami. I think it's very easy to use, but there's many other great programs out there. So the first step is to go ahead into the Silhouette pad, um, Library and you're gonna add the pattern you just made. And then name it, so easy to find. And now I'm today I'm going to make a measure mark and fold but with this program you could also do a cut and fold you can make a shadow fold and a combi but today i'm going to do a measure mark and fold now with the measure mark and fold what the nice thing is you could do it on one line two lines or a three liner so i'm just going to do the one line go ahead and find your design that you just uploaded and hit create pattern go ahead and name your pattern now, the last odd page in your book for me is 421. Now, you, this is the nice thing when you design your own patterns, you can design exactly for your book. And the height of my book happens to be 22 centimeters. And I hit OK, and it's going to go ahead and analyze. It takes just a few seconds. And then it's going to ask you if you want to optimize it to make sure it takes up the full space. And I do want to do that. And while this is thinking, this would be a great time if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and making a comment about what, what would be your first pattern that you would want to make on your own. And it just takes a few seconds. Now, the fancier your script or the fancier your design when you're doing mark and fold, be careful because right here in this fancy G area, you're sharing folds. One, two, three folds. That's why you're getting this little gap. Now, if the gap is too big, you're going to have to really go back and redesign. This is going to be okay here. So then I'm going to go ahead and create my PDF. Select the folder where you want to put it. Now it's been created. Do you want to open it? Yes. And here's my pattern. It gives me my name, how many pages, the height, and the type. And then a picture of what it's going to be. And here is my mark and fold pattern. At this point, you can print it, or if you have what I call aging eyes like myself, it's nice when you leave it on the computer because you actually could zoom in and out on it, which makes it a little bit easier. So that's my pattern. Now, let's say you want to do an image. So we're going to go ahead and create a new drawing. Now there's two places like that I like to go to get my drawings. They're both copyright free sites. So the first one is called Pixabay. And the other one I tend to use a lot is called publicdomainvectors.org. So here you don't have to worry about um, the copyrights because they're already letting you do it. So if you select a picture like this elephant right here that's already in black and white, it's gonna be very easy to use and you would do exactly the same as you would with a name. But what I wanna show you today is what to do 
if the image that you want is in color because it's going to have to be in black and white for our pattern. So let's take this picture of this really simple flower right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it back into the Google Draw. And here's my flower. But the problem is it's going to have to be in black and white. So go ahead and name your file, flower. Go ahead and download it as a PNG again. But this time we can't put it into our pattern maker yet. So I'm gonna use another program to transfer, to transfer it. And the program that I'm using is Paint 3D. So now in Paint 3D, you're gonna go ahead into Menu. This is again, another free pattern, the Paint 3D. And I'm gonna upload my flower. And as you can see, I'm gonna take the paint bucket over here and first thing I'm gonna do is make the background white. And then I'm gonna change it to black and I'm gonna make all my petals black, including the stem. And you might wanna hit it more than once if you wanna fatten something up a little bit. And then in the middle, I'm gonna make it white. Then you're gonna to go to menu and save. And then you're gonna go back into your drawing, go ahead and delete that flower because now you're going to insert image, upload from computer, and grab that picture of that flower. Make sure your background is completely white again, and you have your flower. Now you're going to file, download, and a PNG. Then when you go ahead into your program, Silhouette. Now you can go ahead and upload that flower. This time, I want to make a pen fold. So, new pattern. This time I'm doing the cut and fold. And this is the exact same process. Find your flower. Name your document. Um, now, this is where, the, notice this is pretty horizontal, so you're not going to need a lot of pages. So this is when you're a pattern maker, you're going to decide how many pattern, how many pages. So this might be pretty thin, so I might try 301. I'm just, in this case, guessing I don't have a particular book in mind. Maybe I'm making it for somebody that hasn't told me. And 22 centimeters is a pretty common height. And then you go ahead and analyze it, and then whether you want to... Um, optimize it. And then this time when it pops up, because you're doing cut and fold, it's going to be completely black. You're not going to have the issue of the sharing of the folds. Again, this might take a few minutes and that is what your cut and fold would look like. So enjoy making your patterns and happy folding.